This review is a Provident Pantry traditional six grain rolled cereal. And as far as I can tell, there's nothing special here. Um, emergency essentials, beprepare.com. Quality preserved foods. This is a big old blurb. Um, optimal storage conditions. Cool, dry place. And yeah, there's some oxygen removed by either nitrogen flushing or oxygen absorbing. Absorber not for human consumption. Discard packet immediately upon opening. Okay, I did. And here we go. Nutrition facts. One third of a cup dry. It has a gram and a half of fat that's not saturated or trans, no cholesterol or sodium. 24 grams of carbs, of which five are dietary fibers. So that's 19 uh, grams of carbs, of which one is actual sugars, and the other 18 would be starches, which will become sugar after it works through all the fiber. Um, and five grams of protein. Nutrition facts. Sorry. Uh, ingredients and allergens and directions. Now, it says here to use honey, fruit, sugar, or cinnamon. I normally uh, prepare this with fruits and sugar substitute. So I use um, stuff like sucralose and uh, monk fruit, stevia, um, uh, erythrozyte. Uh, erythro uh, oh my gosh. Well, anyways, that kind of stuff. Sugar alcohols and stuff. And this particular one that I'm using now is Swerve Confectioners with prebiotic oligosaccharides in it to help reduce the risks of um, blood sugar rushes and crashes. And um, also it helps with lactose intolerance. There's nothing else in here to help with the flavor. Let's give it a try. But before we do, I wanted to point out uh, this is strong enough to resist a raccoon trying to get in when we were camping, but it is not strong enough to resist my hand opening it like this. It's, it ripped like that a long time ago. Um, and this is the last of it. The last of us. Uh. So, but yeah, it's, at least it's a very sturdy, large can. And um, it's got the six different kinds of grains, which are the red wheat, rye, oats, barley, sunflower seeds, and white wheat. Now, when I looked at it, it's all rolled, including the sunflower seeds. So the only things that I could identify were oats and sunflower seeds. I couldn't tell the difference between the oats, the wheat, red wheat, the white wheat, the rye, and the barley. It all looks the same. Here, let me show you. See, it all looks the same, except for those uh, sunflower seeds. It's so hard to tell the difference because I'm not experienced with eating these other ones, except for the sunflower seeds. I don't have any problem with this product. Um, now the way I cook this is, I put it, I um, I put my fruits in the bottom, cut them up or whatever, and then I add um, the hot water on top of the fruits, uh, as of course the sweetener also, maybe uh, some cinnamon or some spices or whatever, and then I pour in the the boiling water and it's you know full boil. And then I let it sit for a few minutes to absorb. And I, if I look and see how thick it is. And if it's too thick, then I add more water. Um, so I get it to the right, right consistency where it's a bit on the creamy side. So this has a, um, a firmer texture than if I had boiled it, the oatmeal in water like the instructions say. Um... But, you know, there's nothing wrong with it as far as I can tell. I mean, it tastes, it tastes fine with me. Um, you know, oatmeal by itself is boring, so I won't eat that way. And given the six different kinds of grains in there, I think that it's probably really good for your health. Although, of course, if you have gluten intolerance, you can't have it because it's got wheat in it and, um, and so on and so forth. But, yeah. Um, so, I'll give it an eight. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.